Okay, so I have a great question from a wonderful subscriber by the name of Crystal Blue Persuasion. <laughs> Remember that song? Anyway, she's wanting an updated reading. I think I think Crystal Blue Persuasion is a she. Uh, or it doesn't matter how anyone identifies, but anyway, uh, let me know if I'm wrong. <laughs> if you're a he or however you identify. I So, she's Crystal Blue Persuasion is wanting an updated reading on Mike Johnson. And this is the deck I'm using, the maybe Lanamon by Ryan Edward. And I'm... Um, the uh, important thing to know is I, I have a playlist for him already. I think this will be the fifth or sixth video on him, including uh, questions that we've taken from the live streams uh, with Lisa over at Spirit Intuitive Tarot. She's with me every Saturday. Uh, anyway, so from what I remember off the top of my head, is that the guy had ties to Russia. I threw Russian oligarchs, this one that was connected to um, uh, the, the Russian spy who handled, uh, who was a handler for Maria Butina, I remember her. And the guy was also the principal, um, uh, what do you call, stockholder in this, um, I think it was called American Ethane Company. So, <laughs> Russian money was no, so this is totally illegal. Russian money going into a foreign or foreign money, and it doesn't matter what country, foreign money going into um, an American campaign is illegal. And that American ethane company donated uh, thousands of dollars, I can't remember the exact amount, into Mike Johnson's election campaign. Not good. We also know that um, Mike Johnson is, you know, like a evangelical right wing, right wing Christian nationalism dude, and you know, it, it's it's an awful thing when a person is completely against everything that happened in the sixties and seventies to create some kind of equality. Because he's just, he's like this, he calls himself biblical. Like he, he wants a biblical something or other. I think it was republic. I think that those were the words he used. He was for a biblical republic. Oh my goodness. And I'm always like, okay, what about the separation between church and state? What about our constitution? If you want a biblical republic, go live in Russia, dude. That's how I feel about him. But clear. Let's clear all of that out because it's not a good idea to bring my bias into a reading if I want to get the truth. So here's my intention. What is the truth about his past, present, and most of all, future? And I'm going to go ahead and do a mini grand tableau, which would be using a little bit more than half the cards. There's 52 cards here. And I'm going to, so I'm going to do uh, 27 cards, so nine rows of three, or nine columns of three. Um, so yeah, he just, I don't know, he feels to me like, like some kind of a little domestic terrorist. But again, I'll let my, let all my feels and all that go, <laughs> like Libby calls them, oh, the feels, <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Let's, let's let it all go. What is the truth about Mike Johnson? Past, present, and future. The only thing I, I can say that I do know about his past, I mean, these, these things about the money taken in can be tra traced and tracked. And I believe they already have been. But we know from watching him and his vote and what he does, we know that he voted and was one of the big, uh, you know, pushers of the big lie in the 2020 election. He, he, they voted to overturn the 2020 election. They don't think Biden is the real president. 
So there's that. Anti-union, he's anti-immigration. He has close ties. These are things you guys can look up. It's like I remember doing the research on him. He has close ties to the Israeli right wing, you know, the ones that take the money and then use it for their own um, support rather than for their people. The dirty side of Netanyahu. And, of course, uh, my little micro Mikey Johnson doesn't want doesn't want any uh, support, any more support going to Ukraine. Because, of course, you know, who is he hooked up with is my question. So what is the truth about this? Of course, he doesn't all see, he's, he's against any domestic spending programs as well, too. He wants all that stuff to be cut. Okay, Mike Johnson, what is your, what is, this, what is the truth about your past present, and most of all, future. And I'm going to lay the cards just, all, you know, straight out rather than going with the center. It's there. Okay. Ooh! Secrets! Oh, somebody's watching him. That's good to know. Uh, yeah, the darkness, the cloudiness, the subterfuge, obfuscation. Ooh, it's going to be very, it's probably going to be a big painful loss for him. Coming in soon. Okay, there's our top row. So all of these cards at the top way down on the bottom ones. So let's let's see if his card comes through. Ooh, that's interesting. Uh-huh. There's our foreign connection there. That shelter and security that like feeds the foundation of who he is and he's a snake. I remember uh, Lori and I reading on him once. Lori over at the Way of Positive Change. I hope, I'm sure you guys are all subscribed to her. I remember we got the guys just so dark and so dirty. Plus all the stuff about the little winky we got. <laughs> okay, so... I think I'll start over here, uh, as I did begin a little bit. So the book card is our card for secrets. Something's unknown. Something's hidden. Uh, this might also have to do with the way he wants to educate children, literally, under this dark veil of uh, religion. It's interesting. I don't have the cross card, which could indicate religion, but anyway... This is, over here, I tend to look at this as being the past because we have three boxes of three, you know, nine cards each. And I tend to look at the first three as the past, present, and then over here, the future. I, this is interesting here. <laughs> Looking at that, but okay. Let's stick with where I was. So, uh, secrets that will be revealed as to his darkness the light's going to be shining on uh, what he's done, I believe, in the past, or what he's hidden. Uh, and then, going with the four corners here, it'll be, and because these cards are knighting together, you know, like one over and two up, or you can go two over and one down, all of that, they all connect. Um, with uh, the... Parks garden card here. This is my card for social media and how a person interacts. And um, there's going to be... Okay, so from the past, he has been watched. These things that did come out in the news or looks to me like they're true. Uh, but also, like I was saying before, the way he interacts with a society at large has to do with... Um, he tries to 
put this as to the Bible and the good book and all of that. But it's really hiding uh, the way he just wants to be rewarded himself. He wants these high honors. And then this is also my card for people that belong to a club. So this would be the Bible thumping club right here. So this is him in the past, so we know that. There's nothing new there, but I like that the cards will confirm. Uh, this diagonal down here leads to X45, right? So he's hiding things, literally, for Trump, but that's going to be revealed too. So everything, every shocking piece of information uh, that takes out Trump eventually leads back to this guy, too. Any, any new shocking darkness, chaos, uh, confusion. The, the uh, clouds card is one of those interesting cards. It, it, sh the, it also shows hidden. So we have the two cards in the Linamon that represent something that is hidden. But the eye in the middle, <laughs> because this deck is a combination of gypsy and... Um, and the Lenny. So the eye in the middle is, is revealing something that's going to be shocking that comes through that shows his attractions to 45 and how that is going to be a painful loss for him and it probably is happening right now because this tends to be the present. Uh, he hides, Mike Johnson hides, how much he loves Trump. He, I mean, <laughs> God. I don't think Trump was ever too uh, connected to the Bible. Do you? I, no? <laughs> I don't think so. So this whole nine box here is telling me that there's there is going to be some new insights that were previously hidden and seem to block and confuse other people or hide and keep him undercover. But those things are going to come out and show who he's been connected with because it's going to be a part of social media. And it's going to be shocking to some people, and it also involves Trump. And people are going to just eat it up because everybody's watching what Trump is doing. So that's about the past, catching up to the, the present. So the present is the fact that he's an abusive, dangerous uh, person who actually does like to party and bring in the money, and he really isn't much of a biblical person. He just acts like it. This is all just a front to bring money in. And so he just keeps whipping that, you know, that that thing and, and, and acting like it's helpful for people. And he's the guy that can, uh, you know, nurture everyone. Uh, but the improvements that he's trying to bring in or the change that he's trying to bring in is going to end in a very painful way. It'll be a big painful loss for him and probably pretty soon. So that's interesting. He's not a protector. He's not a defender of our institution, of our Constitution. Uh, instead, he's somebody who just tries to suck off of, you know, bringing the gifts in. This is him always trying to whip up the, he's got it down about, you know, donate, send your money to blah, 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 you know, 1-800, right? But he's going he's gonna to get cut somehow from... I think the, um, the, the nurturing, the warmth, cut off from the warmth. That's what I'm getting here. Cut off from the warmth. And maybe he's, maybe it gets revealed over here how much he's hidden about, you know, maybe he's an alcoholic. And maybe there's something that comes out. Like, remember what happened to the Ziegler's? You know, it was at Brittany and whatever, that Moms for Liberty and her husband and the threesome. And the threesome has turned into rape and sexual assault. And, um, uh, oh, I, I have chills. Maybe that's the deal with him. We do have the rose of seduction here. We do have something surprising that comes out. 
as to his loyalties. Maybe it's something that happened by a fireplace or whatever. <laughs> but change and a painful loss is coming in. Something dangerous that he's been nurturing that creates a painful loss. That is amazing. And it cuts him from the institution. Now here it gets better. Here's his future. There's a cut, a removal of him from his little high tower of being the, the house speaker. The party is going to cut him out at some point. And it's going to be shocking to him. And he might not see it coming. So interesting there. But meanwhile, in the middle, you know, right here, he just keeps whipping up more smoke and mirrors. And, uh, but in the future, it's being, it's all revealed. And uh, the fact that he's been nurturing his own coffers into his own home, into his own uh, foundation, his, the, the structure of his life through foreign contacts. This is the foreign card in this deck. And foreign institutions, that is going to bite him in the I don't know what, but he's going to get bit. Because in the future, it's going to be proven, it's going to be revealed. We've got the sun and the stars. It's going to be revealed that he's been partnered up into the big net of crime ring, foreign crime rings, transnational, what is it Sarah Kensinger called it? Transnational, transnational money laundering crime syndicate. That's it right here. Hidden enemies, but they're not really, they're hidden from the past, but they're not so hidden anymore. And, ooh, I like this. In the future, we're going to see him as being one of the most relevant people for bringing this all out into the open because of their connections to him, his connections to Trump, Trump's connections to Putin. All of that is he's going to be one of those that go down with that big old crime ring, uh, all these uh, networking, you know, uh, crime rings. There, we could have the the if I just use the regular Lennies that are only only have thirty six cards. I wouldn't be surprised if this card wasn't the literal ring, you know, that shows the 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 commitment. But instead, we have the partnerships here, foreign partnerships that are, have been hidden and that are enemies. The uh, mountain card reveals obstacles and hidden enemies. So his future, he has many obstacles to his little high tower and to his position as house speaker and to his, uh, you know, money going into his coffers from foreign. That's going to all be revealed. And uh, he may also have major, because the snake card is our card of betrayals and somebody needs to be careful and it's detours and toxic connections and dangerous enemies. We've got dangerous enemies here and here next to the partnership card or the deal card, making a deal. And he's sunk because he's been in it for so long and it's all, it's, it's all revealed. And it could be that, uh, who's that guy? Smirnoff, that guy. It could be that uh, things come out with his interrogations come out about Mike Johnson and all these other connections. Because, um, you know, he's been... <laughs> he's a, he was a, a CI confidential informant for um, 10 years, and turns out he was working for the wrong side and feeding. He was, ta he was getting information from Putin, Russia, oligarchs, and feeding the American, uh, you know, homeland here with lies, deceit, betrayals, and he was the hidden enemy that was here, you know. <laughs> yeah. So, and we don't even know who he is. He, he goes around with a big hood and a mask on, look, looking kind of like Kanye. <laughs> oh, God.
God. So anyway, this is this guy's future. Probably going to be taken out by one of his own. Oh, maybe a Russian connection there taken out because of that partnership. I'm not sure which way it'll work, but definitely out of uh, the high tower of the house, he's, he's going to be gone. And the cut is right here. It'll be revealed that he was not a protector. Instead, he was, you know, uh, uh, the opposite. Surprised they don't have the little predator card in here. But yeah, there you go, right there. Uh, okay, so let me look with the Kipper just for fun. See what that entails, because there, there are so many people cards in that deck, and maybe, maybe we can get something more. And this one, I will do the nine around him first, because I want to see what's going on around him. Little Mikey Mike Johnson. Little Mikey J. What's coming in for you? What are you in? What are you doing? How's it going to go for you? Little Mikey J with the poodster by the copier. <laughs> Remember that guy? <laughs> oh, gotta laugh, man. Otherwise, the stuff will drive you nuts. Okay. Little Mikey J, what's going on with you? Our little mild-mannered domestic terrorist. He just wants to take away everybody's rights that we fought for in the 60s and 70s. Community of people. Oh, subpoenas coming in, maybe. Hmm. Oh, major restrictions coming in for him. My goodness. Something that comes through court documents or the public process. Or it could be, well, usually we think of this card as being having the legal ramifications of it, but it could be sometimes just important discovery that comes through, you know, um, and we could look at this as being uh, through the White House somehow for, from investigations. And maybe this could be like the high court of the um, literal house, being, him being house speaker. <laughs> Both of the investigative cards. Wow. Hold on. <laughs> There we go. Ooh, Jack Smith. Wow. Okay, now I've got a whole different take here. I'll, I'll go with it first before I bring in the other cards. J6 committee. And I'm hearing Mueller report. There's something from the Mueller report that incriminates him. Those investigations. J6 committee and Mueller report investigations bring through a rut row for Mike Johnson and his reputation. And it might have to do with the fact that he's hidden money. We'll see. I'll get, we'll get some more cards. But it's how he worked to, I think, to overturn the election. I, th I think that, that uh, when Jack Smith gets Trump, he's going to get little, little Mikey as well. So glad you asked this question, Crystal Blue Persuasion. I <laughs> really grateful. Okay, now here's his wife. What's her name? Kelly. Kelly. Okay, painful loss to his um, the foundation of his life. Whew. And his inner circle. Uh, there's something about oh, and his wife and that rules and regulations. And Jack Smith, with the, she's she's implicated as well. Oh my goodness. Oh, and if I were to keep going, we have the then we have the Russian card and all the the karmic wheels he had spinning with that company or that um, country. 
and, and the wealth. He didn't mind risking it just to get the money. Wow. Yeah. He, huh. Lie, cheat, just to get the money. Yep. Okay. So, J6 committee and the community of people who want justice and truth and don't mind investigating. Uh, from the House committees, some, some, maybe an Intel, whatever, House committee, besides the J6 committee, there's a connection there. And they're looking at his loyalties and who supported him. There's a younger guy. The, but this, you know, the papal cards can be the standing cards for more than one person. So this could be um, uh, Jim Jordan. And um, although, isn't he over 50 now? But uh, well, we can fudge a little bit if he's like 52 or I don't even know how old he is. Um, I, but I get the sense of Jim Jordan. And you guys go ahead and drop it in the comments if you get someone else because usually everyone's right. <laughs> um Matt Gates, Jim Jordan, yeah, and then Grassley maybe. Distractions over here, but his wife looks like his wife might go running to her dad. That's on another layer of this, um, you know, because we can read in so many different layers here. Uh, okay, so opening up the reading. Painful loss for the foundation of his life, and this would be subpoenas, could be subpoenas from the House, another House committee. Uh, looking at the four corners, we have uh, <laughs> him going, oh no, i got to find a new job, oh crap, how am I going to get the money in now, and his strategy that has this big painful loss. And then over here, it's also to his inner circle, which includes Trump. And how they've distracted and uh, basically, you know, lied, cheated. Man. And to him, maybe this is Trump. Yeah, that's very possible. Because, well, this is interesting. That makes me wonder. Oh, no, I can't say that because I don't have the flipper card in here. But I'm wondering about his wife her giving some kind of support. This could also be uh, Sheldon Whitehouse and all of his work because he's really dedicated and devoted to bringing out the truth and the teamwork that he's uh, always bringing through to the, um, you know, to the House floor. Uh, he, he conducts meetings and gets a lot of information and then brings it out for the public. Because we could look at this community card as being the public of America. It's that possibility. Uh, so, you know, it's like his wife is running, wanting to run away from the rules and regulations, wanting to get away from Jack Smith's investigation. And that's all for sure. This would be Jack Smith because of these cards that are above him. You know, he's got the weight of the investigation on his shoulders, and he's been working really hard, and he's worked with the J6 committee. He's looking at these people with lower consciousness, poverty consciousness, who are greedy and money-grabbing. And um, this wealthy man here can also be a stand-in card for all of the attorneys that are working under him to help him get little Mikey. But here's the best card right here. If it's not outright imprisonment, it's at least a major restriction due to investigations. And people who came in and gave their testimony, his inner circle and Trump's inner circle, all the people that have flipped on Trump. So we're talking Mark Meadows and Oh, where's, I have, actually, I have a list. Well, it's not very long. From from all my other readings that I've gotten, I, I made a list. Of pe people have flipped are John Eastman, Mark Meadows. Jeffrey Clark had health issues and imprisonment. 
Uh, Rudy, I got that Nicole Dunphy takes him down, but health issues take him out. I never did see him locked up because of health issues. Um, so that's just on a little side note there. Mikey's strategy as a distractor and a, and a thief are going to be revealed. That's the direction his life is heading. And also all of the people in his inner circle who have, uh, you know, like his team, they're going to be revealed. And all of this will come out with all the complaints, complaints and investigations into their reputation and what they've been doing. Yeah, wow. Uh, painful ending and loss, fatal loss for he and his inner circle and those who've been loyal to him in the house. So again, Jim Jordan, you know, they all stand in there. I'm surprised Marjorie Trader Green isn't in here, but whatever. Um, and yeah, Subpoenas literally from the DOJ, and somebody's going to get locked up. If not locked up, they're all restricted. And I'm sure a lot of them won't get voted back in. But eventually get locked up, because when they make this big swoop, you know, when Jack Smith is done... He, you know, he's gonna. He's been working his way up with all the little fish, and then he goes to the big fish at the top. But along the way, he's get he has gotten people to flip and uh, have immunity agreements. His inner circle with immunity agreements here. He's worked hard on that to get them to the place where they don't have a, a leg to stand on, and uh, a lot of them are connected in the GOP House. Those cards connect here. They will be restricted and locked up, you know, either or. Or restricted from ever being a House member again or a part of our government and, uh, and also locked up. It can be both. So, yeah. And then... If this... Now, if this is Kelly's, you know, his wife's dad there's something about him too I don't know anything about the guy the, the card's just here and I'm wondering right and it get, again it can be Sheldon Whitehouse and his work and it also can be her dad it can be uh, any supportive man to her but also any supportive man to the cause of revealing the thieves that are connected in little Mikey J's family or intimate circle of people so, loyal, intimate circle of people. Anything else? I don't think so. If you guys see more that I missed, go ahead and drop it in the comments. And you know how it goes. You can do the mirroring two cards together like that. You can go, you can read the nine box in each, you know, three columns. And, um, of course, you can do the knighting, which is one over and two up, or two over and one down. Like this one in the center, knights to all of these three cards. So, loyal house members, uh, J6 committee, uh, <clears throat> attorneys, and something to do with his wife. And I don't know about that at all, other than she's a distractor and a thief herself just to get money in. This could even be their like church groups and whoever supports her in that somehow because of her this guy gets roped in but I don't know who that is unless it's her dad. It doesn't have to be her dad though. Like I said it can be any supportive older guy. And Jack Smith is looking at this younger guy over here to support him to bring in on one level, that's it, you know, to bring in the truth. But it's also Jack Smith working hard to impoverish these guys that have tried to just grift off of um, the system, the people and the system. 
It's all the restriction. That's the key there. And she's going to be restricted too. Or locked up for some reason. <laughs> I don't know. Okay. Well, that's all I can get right now. I think this reading is like way too long already. Yeah, 35 minutes. But um, I'm going to get it uploaded. And as always, send you lots of love. <laughs> Thanks, you guys. Bye.